Have I already talked about the fuses? <laughs> What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to a brand new video on our 2014 Ranger RT-188 boat that we bought at Copart. We are in love with this boat. It's crazy, crazy times. We bought a boat yesterday. Today it is snowing. We pulled it inside. We got something that's bothering us about this boat. When we bought it, it did not say that it run or drove, which honestly is hard to test the driving part out on a boat, but it didn't run, it doesn't do anything. When you turn the switch on, we have nothing. So we got a whole lot of nothing when it comes to the engine, the tilt doesn't work. So we gotta troubleshoot that. So I think what we'll do, we'll pop the motor cover off, we'll step back there at the back of the boat, start troubleshooting what's going on with it. We'll take y'all with us and let you know what we find out. Check it out. Did get that control out. Or a bunch of wires in there. Gonna try to find the diagram to see which wire goes to where. But I, you know, 99% sure that yellow with the red stripe, that's gonna go to our trim because it's wired into our controls. Or it could be a neutral switch, I don't know. But that's what we gotta do. We're gonna keep on poking around in all of this wiring. We're gonna find the short. We're gonna get this motor running. Alrighty guys, we have been working like crazy on this boat. Everything's been going really good. Crazy as it is, it's still snowing outside. It's insane, but we're inside, we're nice and warm. We've been isolating this wire. So look at this, look at this right here. This connector right here, what we found out is if we unhook this big connector here, 
Then we could ease over to our engine and we found this fuse box right here. And it had a 15 amp fuse in here and it was blowed. So they've been troubleshooting it. So I didn't have a 15, I had a 10. I had a 10 amp fuse, so I just, you know, did not overload the circuit. I put the 10 in and then I come over here and I hit the trim button and nothing happened. Well, I say nothing happened, something strange happened. The engine started coming up and the starter come in and it blew my fuse. And I'm thinking, whoa, what in the world's going on? So I unhooked this and did the same thing with another 10 amp fuse. And then the motor works like it should. So we do have another 10 amp fuse. So what we did is we put the 10 amp in right here. And then we hit the trim and the trim works like it should. And that was because we looked up on the internet and this blue wire is for the trim up and this yellow wire with the red stripe is for the starter. And these things are crossed up in the cable. So we isolated it up here. Let me show you up here. So in this spaghetti junction up here, we found our trim wire coming in which we taped it up right here, it was still blue. And then this is our starter wire. So what we're doing, what we're gonna do is, I couldn't really find, I don't know where these things are together at. They're together somewhere between here and back there at the back of the motor because we isolated everything out. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna frog onto this brown wire and see if we can get this sucker running. At least maybe get the trim working like it should so we're gonna wire up the brown wire to the trim and we're gonna to try to get the trim working like it should off of this switch right here. And then once we do that, we should be all set. So let's hop to it and let's get it done. Alrighty guys, we've been troubleshooting, we've been working, we've been sorting out this wiring. We know exactly what the problem is. We found it out 100%. Let me show you what's going on with this boat. I know you think it's spaghetti and, and we do too, but we didn't do all of that. The, you know, the guy at Ranger, when he made that thing, he connect this, connect that. He throw that sucker back in there and that's all right because nobody won't ever see it. So what we got is we've got this wire right here. And, and basically this wire, goes through the boat hull and comes out back there at the motor and this is all our controls and it's got 12 conductors in it and basically this one is for our ignition it's a yellow with a red stripe and the other one we got is for our trim up and down it's blue with a white stripe those two wires are shorted together they're almost open i can't get the 12 volts back to the starter we want to hear it run we think we're ready We've got it set up. We're going to start this beautiful boat up. We're going to listen to it purr, if it will. So let's fire it up and see if it'll bust some carbon out. that motor purrs like a kitten it purrs like a mountain lion man it was growling 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 there we are so happy that that worked out we are gonna have to get us a wire so we are gonna have to put this wiring job on pause for just a minute but we did notice that we had a little bit of a of a dent right here in the top gunnel so what we're gonna do while we got it out while we're in a notion of working we're gonna get the port of power we're gonna get a couple of boards we're gonna see if we can 
we can push this back out just ever so slightly to make it 100% perfect because we are gonna make this boat as close to brand new as we possibly can. So let's go get the Porter Power. Let's get a couple of boards. Let's get to it. Alrighty guys, that great idea that we had with the Porter Power to straighten out the gunnel did not work out because our Porter Power was just a tad too short. We tried every which way, even tried a sledgehammer and a board just to try to push it back out, but we'll save that for a different day. Gonna come up, do a little brainstorm and come up with some better ideas for that. But I tell you what, we have done a ton of work today on this boat. We diagnosed all this crazy wiring. We know what's going on. We heard that engine growling. I mean, growling like a mountain lion. We're absolutely pumped up. We got some stuff coming in for it. We are one step closer to taking this thing to the lake and testing it out. But I do think that's gonna be a wrap for today's video, guys. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram, at Real Orange Wires. If you like this video and you like this content, drop us a like, leave us a comment down below, until next time, we're out.